I would like I would like to offer a brief overview of the themes in this mindfulness application to our relationship at this time with the coronavirus making such an impact on our society on everybody in a variety of ways. There are many of you who rightfully and with necessity are staying at home, not venturing out, minimizing the time out. It's not easy to stay in the one place and be clear and steady. A friend of mine from the Middle East was arrested and the arrest was due to her non-violent activism, the wish to bring about changes. And part of the psychological torture was that she was placed in the darkness in the basement of the interrogation centre and chained to the floor and could barely uh, move and she didn't know what the future would mean, what it would bring and she was left and I asked her how did you endure this? How did you stay steady through all of this? And she said to me with a smile, when I began to feel really afraid and really fearful for my life and what might happen, she said, and to stay strong, I said to myself, I am the queen of this space. And to show to herself that she was not going to be afraid of the torturers, of those who arrested her and imprisoned her, nor be afraid with the future, but to stay really steady, I am the queen of this space. And sometimes when it's frustrating and difficult at home and you just want to get out and break out, but you can't. Remind yourself, I am the queen of this space. I am the king of this space. Our family, this is where we take refuge. This is our base. This is our home. This is where we give support to each other and we will stay steady and true to us. So it's this change in the attitude, a different way of looking. And so when speaking to you, whether it's about the future, you know, anxiety, <clears throat> or the elderly parents, or shopping for food or our relationship with others or a recognition of public servants and much much more if we find the a reactivity and the anxiety and the agitation and the demands really making an impact we remember to breathe in and breathe out we remember to ask ourselves quietly and sincerely, is there a fresh way to look at this situation? So we breathe in and out. We are the queen of our space. We are the king of our space. We follow with the breath and we keep a short diary 
We have some practices every day from music to food to being in touch with the elements of sky above and earth below to the little actions in the house of aesthetic beauty and much much more and we're going to say and we are saying these are our practices this is what we're engaged in so that it is rich it is full it is valid there's something authentic about it and this will allow us and enable us to get through this period, not traumatized by it, not depressed by it, but that full, rich commitment. And if we have to live in a small, confined space for that, we're going to do that because we're going to emerge through this, not to go back to the old worries and fears and anxieties, but we're going to emerge through this with much more clarity in our life, wisdom in our life, empathy in our life, and to be a really full human being. We've got this opportunity. Don't waste it. Take it day by day. You'll be fine. Stay steady with it. This is an opportunity. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the, your willingness to take note. Thank you. <laughs>